How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 back again with another pay per view of our UFC save in WMMA5. And here today we have UFC 301 Sanhagen versus Song 2. Main event we are unifying the Bantamweight title. Corey Sanhagen, after a small hiatus, coming back and looking to unify the Bantamweight title against the current interim champion in Yadong Song. Appreciate you guys for watching, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch. Links are down in the description below for both of those. Also follow me on Twitter. And I've also recently started a Patreon page if you want to support me further. Link is down there as well. Appreciate you guys as always. Uh, with that said, uh, this is our last pay-per-view for quite a while. So we're not going to have one uh, in May. And then we will have one in June, UFC 302, which is stacked, looking to be a stacked card, honestly. I mean, you can see there Ismail Nardiev, Vicente Luque. Uh, Dalgiev versus Ekpo for the featherweight title, and then Cyborg versus Machnat Kina for the featherweight title. That should be a good one. Hope you guys enjoy that one, but let's get right to it. UFC 301, Sanhagen versus Song, right after we check the rankings. Uh, nothing going on at heavyweight. Sukawaki now number three after beating Tyson Pedro. Very quick ascension through the UFC ranks. I mean, probably, I mean... Yeah, he's going to be fighting next for the title, it looks like. Or at least the interim title. Shogun is fighting Uzdemir right now. But, I mean, Sukawaki is next for the interim title at the very least. Maybe he can be the guy to finally dethrone uh, John Jones. We'll have to see. Show taking place in Tennessee, of all places. Let's go ahead and get started, of course, with our prelims. Violent Bob Ross, Luis Pena taking on Robin Van Roosmalen. A lot of bad stuff coming out in the news recently about... Uh, Luis Pena, still in my organization because technically that stuff hasn't happened in game. Uh, Van Roos Malen, we thought he was going to be way better than he ended up being. 5-2 and two currently in the UFC. Uh, he's gotten submitted in both of his losses. And it is Luis Pena getting a split decision victory over Robin Van Roos Malen. Luis Pena having a good showing here today. Me, Hakeem Dawodu taking on Shuya Kami Kubo. In the featherweight division, uh, Dewodu is a heavy favorite in this one at 8-5. and five. Uh, His last one coming against James Jenkins. And he gets the knockout in just 11 seconds in what was rated as a good fight. Moving right along, we have Halim Maslar, I believe, making his UFC debut at flyweight, taking on Janelle Lausa in the flyweight division. And it is Maslar getting the knockout win in a fantastic fight. In his UFC debut, only took him 18 seconds into round number two to get that. Moving right along, Christian Simon taking on Spike Carlisle in the lightweight division. Spike Carlisle, a huge favorite in this one, and he gets the win via TKO less than a minute into the fight. Moving right along, Brad Riddell taking on Jay Dodds in the lightweight division. Basically a pick -em between both of these guys. And it's Brad Riddell coming out with a knockout in round number three in what ended up being a great fight. Eight and two in his UFC career. Now he can make it nine and two as he takes out young Jay Dodds. Batraz Agnaev taking on Punahele Soriano in the light heavyweight division. Soriano, I believe, was undefeated for a little bit. 14 and one now after, uh, yeah, his only loss coming to Impact Sanganai. On the other side, you have Batraz Agnaev. Majority decision victory for Batraz Agnaev after three rounds. And he's upset he didn't get a unanimous decision victory. Uh, Alexander Volkov taking on Mohamed Usman in the heavyweight division. Usman 14-4, and 4-2 four, four and in his UFC career thus far. Taking on Volkov, number 23 in the heavyweight division. Coming off a three-fight losing streak. And it is Usman who gets the win via unanimous decision, albeit in a poor fight. Maybe Usman going to be ranked after this. Ramazan Emiev taking on Tommy King in the, I believe, welterweight division. Tommy King 9-3, Emiev 22-8. And, and it is Emiev with the arm triangle submission victory in what was rated as a fantastic fight. 23rd win of his career, and he calls it a career highlight. Moving right along, Patricio Pitbull. Taking on Honey Bezerra. A couple of uh, veterans going at it here in the featherweight division. 
And Patricio Pitbull finally able to get something going here. Gets a win. He was on a five-fight losing streak before this. And he finally gets one here today. And he wants to take on young fighter Jung Young Lee. Moving right along. In the featherweight division, we have Kayla Harrison, who missed weight by two pounds, taking on Carol Hosa. Harrison is a huge favorite, but for whatever reason, Harrison's been doing absolutely terribly. She lost her opening UFC fight to Samara Guida. She got knocked out, as a matter of fact. Taking on Carol Hosa, who has played spoiler quite a few times. She's coming off a two-fight losing streak. But, where was it? Uh, Irene Aldana. That's the fight that was like, oh man, she beat number five in the division. And it was like, maybe this means something for her. No, not really. But, Carol Hosa does beat Kayla Harrison here today via unanimous decision. Kayla Harrison just doesn't do very well in this uh in this mod for whatever reason but we move on to our pay-per-view and it's Ariane Lipsky taking on Paige Van Zant to open up the pay-per-view couple 30 year olds uh going at it Lipsky nine and six in her UFC career coming off wins over Maroche and Calderwood and on the other side you have Paige Van Zant uh, kind of waning as far as her health nonetheless consecutive wins over Tiffany Teo and Zhang Jin Nan but she is very popular still, as you can see, high-level national. And it's Ariane Lipsky getting the unanimous decision victory over the very popular Paige Van Zant. Lipsky in her own right, low-level national. <coughs> low-level national. That might change after this victory. A pretty interesting fight as we have MVP Michael Benham Page taking on Jorge Masvidal in the welterweight division. MVP number five in the division, five and one in the UFC, only losing to Nate Diaz, coming on consecutive wins over Chiesa and Tyron Woodley. On the other side, you have Jorge Gamebred Masvidal coming off a win over Wonderboy Thompson. He lost to Luque for the title, lost to Usman for the title, but other than that, has had a pretty good time. And he is the small favorite, and it is Jorge Gamebred Masvidal getting the win over Michael Venom Page via TKO here today. And he says uh, a fight with Tony Ferguson would do him well. That'd be quite an interesting fight to see, actually. Uh, Jeremy Kennedy taking on the notorious Conor McGregor in uh, the first non-main event for Conor McGregor in quite a while. And I mean, he deserves a main event, but I'm not really in the business of non-title fight main event pay-per-views really anymore. Two straight wins over Chad Mendez and Jose Aldo brings us to here. Jeremy Kennedy on the other side. Wins over Dobronx Oliveira and Gavin Hughes. Kennedy, if he can pull it off here today, and he is the favorite, he'll probably be fighting for a title in here's near future. And it is Jeremy Kennedy knocking out Conor McGregor in round number three in what was rated as a great fight. 25th win of his career, 8th loss of Conor's career. And he wants to fight Tiago Moises, of all people. He will probably be fighting for a title in his near future. Co-main event of the evening. Mauricio Shogun Hua, the current interim light heavyweight champion, looking to defend that crown against Vulcan No Time Uzdemir. Uzdemir coming off wins over Jan Blahovich and Alexander Rakic. And you can see there Shogun Hua winning the interim title by beating Dominic Reyes. He lost to John Jones a couple years ago. 42 years old. He he might just retire after this, this fight, no matter what happens. But the interim title is at stake. Sukawaki, like I just mentioned, waiting in the wings. He'll probably face the winner of this one. As we look to see who has the right to go after John Jones next. Shoots in for a takedown. Can't really get it. Only tight clinch. Not much going on. Halfway through round number one. Right head kick, throws a quick punch, not much going on. Hopping on one leg. Trip takedown. Uzdemir grabs the cage, verbal warning. Muay Thai clinch. Uzdemir gets sent to the mat. See Shogun with a guillotine attempt, he can't get it. Shogun with a guillotine attempt, and he gets it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by guillotine submission, and still the interim light heavyweight champion, Mauricio Shogun Hua. Now let's see if he retires. He does not. 42 years old, 
still going at it. Mauricio Shogun Hua will be fighting John Jones next. Brings us to our main event of the evening. To unify the UFC Bantamweight Championship, the interim champion Yadong Song. Coming off four straight wins, Fuma, Marais, John Dodson, and then beating Dominic Cruz for the interim title. Takes on Corey Sanhagen. I mean, unbelievably, unbelievable what he's been able to do. He's He lost to Yadong Song three years ago in game. But other than that, <clears throat> John Dodson, Marlon Marais, Peter Yan, Nathaniel Wood, and then Peter Yan again. Crazy what he's been able to do, Corey Sanhagen. It's our main event of the evening for the UFC Bantamweight title. Herb Dean is your referee. And we are underway. Song coming in closer. Looking to get a takedown. He can't get it. Looking for a trip takedown, and he gets it. Song pulls half guard. Song looking to scramble. Kimura. Ooh, Song blocks it. Halfway through round number one. Knee bar. Song blocks it. Going for another knee bar. Still can't get it. Round one coming to a close, and it does. And they say Sanhagen won the first round. Low kick. It's a right hand. Sanhagen has a right hand blocked. Two punch combo. Sanhagen avoids him. Song landing the one two. Roundhouse kick lands. And Song's on wobbly legs. Doesn't really do much though. Sanhagen shoots on Song. Can't get the takedown. Muay Thai clinch. Song. Ooh, massive knee to the chest. Shoots on Song again. Can't get a single leg. And round two is coming to a close. Song tries to wrestle free as round two comes to a close. Sanhagen is up on the scorecards. Two rounds to nothing. Round three underway in our main event. Glancing high kick. Nice right hook. Another nice right hook. Oh, no. Manages to stay on his feet. Song comp coming in closer. Body kick. Song getting tired. Getting pieced up on the feet by Sanhagen. Song pulls guard. Sanhagen throwing a couple strikes. Might go submission here. Going for a leg lock. This time he gets it. Ladies and gentlemen, unifying the UFC Bantamweight champion, now the undisputed champion via an Achilles lock, is Corey Sanhagen. Round number three in what was a good fight. You love to see it. Celebrates having defended the title successfully. 33,000 in attendance in Tennessee. Six and a half million at the gate. Made 32 million off pay-per-view. Love to see it. Let's go ahead and give some bonuses out, huh? Were there any fantastic or excellent fights? Oh, there were a couple. Emiev and King. Also got Moslar and Lhasa. Let's give them some money for having a great fight. First round finishes. Shogun Hua. Jorge Masvidal. We got Patricio Pitbull. We've got Spike Carlisle. And Hakeem Dewodu getting some extra cheddar. you love to see it. And we still made $36 million in profit. Successful pay-per-view. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm AZPlow21. Like I mentioned, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Uh, links are down in the description below from my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Patreon page. If you do want to support me, I do have a Patreon page that you can support. Appreciate you guys as always. And I will see you guys at the fights.